Good day, learners! I am Miss Malaya Caspe from Andres A. Noco National High School, SDO City of General Trias. Welcome to Quarter 3, Week 1 of Health Education Grade 7. Here are our MELKs, or Most Essential Learning Competencies for today, based on Pivot Bow. 1. Explains the factors that affect the promotion of good mental health. And 2. Explains that stress is normal and inevitable. As for your tasks for this week, you will 1. Identify mental and emotional health. 2. Characterize stress. And 3. Work on the assessment, evaluation, and reflection tasks. On our previous lessons, you have learned about the six dimensions of health. Today, let's focus more on mental and emotional health. This lesson will focus on your mental and emotional health. It will help you be aware of how your health is affected with the way you think and feel. What is mental health? It includes our emotional, psychological, and social well-being. It affects how we think, feel, and act. It also helps determine how we handle stress, relate to others, and make choices. We also have emotional health. It means you're aware of your emotions and you can deal with them whether they're positive or negative. However, people who are deemed emotionally healthy can still feel stress, anger, and sadness, but they do know how to manage well their negative feelings. What are the factors that may affect your good mental health? 1. Loneliness and isolation 2. Domestic or family violence 3. Grief or loss 4. Bullying 5. Unemployment or loss of income 6. Sexuality 7. Alcohol or drug abuse 8. Heredity 9. Head injury and 10. Long-term stress What is the first thing that comes to your mind when you hear the word stress? Actually, stress can either be negative or positive. Now, what really is stress? It is defined as a physiological or physical and emotional responses to a significant or unexpected change or disruption in one's life. It may also refer to as to what you feel when you react to pressure either from the outside world like the school, family, or friends or from inside of you, from yourself. Is it normal to feel stress? Is it inevitable? Yes, stress is normal and inevitable. Stress is a normal human reaction that happens to everyone. In fact, no one is excused from experiencing stress because it is a part of our lives. Let's take a look at the learner's task. Here's an example of a student answering the question, What are you thinking and feeling right now? Then, he will draw pictures or write words and phrases that best describe his answer. Good day to all of us. I'm Christian Bias, student of Andres Inoko National High School from the SDO of General Trias City. Today, I will accomplish Activity 2 from Quarter 3, Health 7. For Activity 2, which was entitled as Doodle It, here are the directions. First, answer the question, what are you thinking and feeling right now? Then, draw pictures or write words and phrases that best describe your answer. Let's start. First, what am I thinking and feeling right now? As a student, I'm being optimistic towards the things that we can control. At the same time, I feel overwhelmed with the fact that this mindset could be realized through a consistent basis. There might be things which are out of our hand and it's quite hard for us to adjust with it. But it's okay. What we can control is the way we think, our emotion, and our action towards them.
this picture shows the idea of being positive in the midst of difficulties. Now, from my reflection after doing this activity, A. Do the things you think and feel affect your everyday life? Yes, the things we think and feel affect our lives. There is such a thing as T principle. T stands for think, E stands for emotion, A stands for action. It conveys the idea that what we think affects our emotion and that emotion affects our action, but we can manage it. B. How does your body respond to the things you think and feel? More often or not, it reflects on how I act. C. When was the last time you got stressed? The last time I got stressed was when I couldn't find a way to comprehend outside of my comfort zone. D. What is stress? Stress is defined as the psychological or physical and emotional responses to a significant or unexpected changes or disruption in one's life. For our second episode next week, we will explore more about the kinds of stress. It will be another exciting lesson to learn for health education. Thank you for connecting with us at Pivot Gabay, your quick guide to learning. Only here at Pivot TV. See you next time. Happy learning!